Hi everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Unfortunately, and at least until I can find a better job, or another place to live, or just anything in general, the only place where you'll be able to see videos of little old me. I know, it sucks. So, I know you're noticing, hey, you're not as big as you were last week. Yeah. Those are my bigger breast forms. Those are actually the largest ones that I own. That's actually my goal size that I kind of want to aim for. Um, this week I just have the smaller ones on because I kind of didn't want to get out of bed this morning. Uh, my plan was to go on to Twitch, try this again, and hopefully, if there is a decent deity anywhere in the universe, get it to work. Since this video is up on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, I'm pretty sure you can guess which direction that went. Yeah, right to hell in a handbasket. You got it. Anyway, as much as I would love to say, well, I tried. I did. I literally took um, Twitch Studio Beta down to the lowest settings that I possibly could. And I mean the lowest that I possibly could take it. And still got nothing. I was dropping frames. Not as bad as I was last week when I tried at their recommended settings of 480 by 60p. So basically a 480 resolution and 60 frames per second, which dropped frames like, well, everything. <laughs> they just plummeted to the ground. This time around, I thought I had fixed the problem because I did do a little stream, and I'm like, hey, this is actually working somewhat. It's not that bad. I wasn't dropping frames. Something was up, and I didn't realize. I was streaming for like three minutes, and I'm like, no frames have dropped. I had like no, like no, none of the slow frames, none of the frames dropped, nothing was wrong. And I'm like, hey, this is working way too well. What's going on? Something's wrong here. Yeah. Because when I tried it again, after putting the thing out on Twitter and saying, hey, I'm going to try this again, come check me out, and the frame rate plummets to zero. Like, the encoder, the frames per second was like at one, like one FPS. So, for those of you that don't understand computer lingo, or they're not very tech savvy, that basically means that I was pulling in and uploading less than a frame a second because you also have to figure compiling data and other stuff. I was basically doing shit and it sucked. So unfortunately that is the end of my Twitch streaming career because until I can actually get a decent internet connection where my upload speed is at least at least one to three megabits per second, I can't stream. And does that mean that I'm going to have issues? Yes. Does it mean that I'm never going to be able to be a Twitch streamer? Yes. Does it mean that I will never be able to do videos for YouTube? No. Thankfully, Twitch Studio Beta does allow us to just record videos, which I'm going to be using and abusing the hell out of. Thank you very much, you wonderful people over at Twitch. Anyway, I figured I would come out today though I was just going to be doing like chatting and shooting the shit with everybody on Twitch, but since that isn't working, I figured I would come out and just do a YouTube video or two or three mm -hmm. because I'm a sadist and masochist and because I have nothing better to do. And it's 4.50 in the morning, so <laughs> go figure. Anyway, I wanted to come out and... First off, thank everybody for checking out my Q&A video. I want to do another one of those, but I definitely am going to need some questions. So don't forget to check me out. I am all over the internet at this point. Uh, I'm not as massively popular or notable as my um, friends and Zounds is, but I am out on the internet, so you can find me. I am over on Twitter at charms underscore Jessica, which I should actually just put that in here. Like where you can find me, I should probably do that for next time. I will remember that for my next video. I promise. I'll probably record it right after this. That's all I'll remember. <laughs> um, but you can find me over on Twitter at charms underscore Jessica. 
I also have a tremendous amount of other places that I'm at. I have a Patreon page, a Loyal Fans page, a Kofi page, as well as a Reddit. I'm on FetLife, which is Fetish Life, and a few other places. The one place that I'm not on that is now on my get on it list is Boopedia. Believe me, I will be getting on that site. Come hell or high water, I will get on that site. Um, but yes, so what do I want to talk about? Well, believe it or not, I actually want to just give a massive shout out, ironically, to my friend Zenny Zounds, which is the entire purpose of this video today. See, Zenny is actually going to be going for her facial feminization surgery in a couple days. She, in fact, she's leaving today for it. And first off, I'm nervous for her. I worry about her because she she does take good care of herself. I will say that. But I just worry about her because she's my friend. She means a lot to me. She was the one that really helped me want to know what I wanted. And she was the one that kind of helped me come out of my shell in terms of waiting to transition. And I owe her far more than I could ever repay. She's like my best friend from high school that I owe for bailing my ass out in middle school. If it wouldn't have been for my best friend in high school, and well, actually, no, same one, if it wouldn't have been for my best friend, I would have never graduated the eighth grade. I would have been held back a year. And my best friend, he went above and beyond. He gave me some extra credit points that the one teacher gave out, these like passes that you can include with your stuff. And that just barely got me past eighth grade. And I owe him a debt that I will never be able to repay for that. With Zenny, I owe her a huge debt that I could never repay. So, here's what I want to do. Because Zenny already fixed up a tremendous amount of content to go up online and everything else while she's recovering. But I would like everybody to do that watches this video. And I know I'm not very popular. I know it may not be seen up, but I'm going to tweet the hell out of this video. Trust me. I'm going to have this thing up, and I'm going to be tweeting the hell out of it. I want you to go check out Zenny's links. In fact, I'm going to leave the link tree link for her in my description, as well as her Twitter page. You can check her out over on OnlyFans. She is like in the top 7.5%. I can't even get on OnlyFans. That, that's going to be an entire video. I'm just going to... I think I should just... I'm going to like have an entire video series, but for now, not talking about that. Uh, you can find her over on OnlyFans at Zenny Zounds. She is really great. She works extremely hard. Like, you have no idea how hard she works. And it is really, really, really important to her. She is trying everything she can to make a better life for herself. She was a comedian. She, she says she wasn't very good at it. I thought she was funny. And yes, I have seen some of the old, some of her old clips um, for when she was still a guy doing comedy. I thought she was good. But then again, everyone has their own sense of humor. I have my own sense of humor as well as she does. So there is that. But all in all, I definitely cannot, cannot recommend her enough. If somebody out there would ever ask me, hey, Jessica, who do you feel like is a really good um, transgender inspiration story for people? I will literally point to her because she is doing all of the surgery for herself. She's not doing it for anybody else. She's not doing it because, you know, like 50,000 people gave her a dollar and said, if we all chip in a buck, will you go do surgery? She's not doing it for that. She's doing it because she wants to. She's doing it for her. Not for anybody else, for her. And that is what is important in this. That is the one reason that I will sing her praises till I am blue in the face. And I mean that. Wholeheartedly, I will sing her praises till I'm blue in the face. And if somebody out there goes, so what are you just like, you know, basically, and may YouTube forgive me for this, but I don't plan to ever get monetized on here, so... Yeah, I don't plan to get monetized. If you're going to say, what are you just like sucking her dick? Fine. Consider it that way. I'm sucking her dick. No, I am basically just, 
I want her to finally get the recognition that she deserves. I mean, there are a lot, and I want to stress this point, there are a lot of transgender individuals that don't do anything. They just go about their lives and blend in with society. Then you have the ones that actually want to make something, like myself. I enjoy entertaining people. I enjoy making people happy. That makes me feel good inside. Why? Because I love talking. I love doing videos. And my male side does too. And for those of you, you know, I'm just going to say it. For those of you that don't know, you can actually see my male side and the videos that I have done on the Web Designer 18 YouTube channel. Yeah. Same person. Surprise! Yeah. We're the same person. In fact, you probably could tell. From, you know, the face, I guess. I don't know. I don't actually have any makeup on. It's literally just my light <laughs> that's making it look good. But yes, we're the same person. And I enjoy doing videos. Would I have loved for my channel to be monetized? Yes. Yes, I would have loved that. Long before YouTube decided to butcher themselves and just screw themselves. Yes, I would have loved for my channel to be monetized. Would I have loved to have been able to say beyond a shadow of a doubt, hey, I did something great. Yes. Am I happy with the way that my life has turned out? No. So there is that. But this isn't a video about me. This is a video about Zenny. And it's Zenny that I want to focus on. Because to me, she's special. And I don't mean like your weird cousin Ted special. I mean special. She's she's a good friend to me. When I first reached out to her, it was solely asking about breast implants because she was very open about her operations and very open about her augmentations. So I'm like, I'm going to ask her. I'm just going to message her. I'm going to ask her. I'm going to find out what it is that she's done and what they feel like. Because, I mean, I've only ever had breast forms. And the bit of fat from being overweight. So I had no idea. And I'm like, well, I'm going to ask her. Like, you know, in all honesty, I never expected her to reply. I never expected a reply. I figured she's just going to sweep it under the rug or ignore me. I'm like, it, she's an internet celebrity. She's not going to care. She replied. You have no idea how much that means to somebody when they reply back. Because this is a person that didn't know me, didn't know why I was contacting them out of the goddamn blue, and still took the time to not only reply to me, but send me the link to a and to an essay that she wrote about this entire thing from her point of view, from her perspective. And that meant a lot to me. It really did. It meant a whole lot to me. And the fact that she did that, the fact that she went out of her way to do that, it, it stuck with me. It really did. And something just told me, stay around her. Just, just stay around her. Then I got to know her SFW side, her safe for work. So if you don't know, Zenny Zounds is basically an internet persona for her, but that's what I'm going to focus on. But I have uh, met, I uh, well, not met, believe me, that's on my bucket list. It really is. I plan to meet her in real life, give her a big hug, buy her a drink. I don't care if it's water, soda, carbonated beverage. I don't care. Was, I know she's not drinking right now. At, most, at first it was a beer, and then it's like, well, she's not really drinking. She might decide to you know, get sober entirely and give it up. So any drink she wants, I will buy. That I can afford, within reason. <laughs> she does know that, because I am poor. Um, and just thank her for being not only a great friend, but a wonderful older sister. Because to me, she's an honorary older sister to me. And I cannot explain that enough. But... I have actually, because my male side interacts more with her safe for work side, because Jessica Charms is more of a internet persona for me, and Zenny is an internet persona for her. 
quote, you can't exactly do sex work with your real name, which is true. No one's going to argue that. So here's what I want everybody out there to do. Anybody that's watching this video right now, and I hope this gets retweeted like crazy out there. Okay. But I want her to have like 20,000 followers on Twitter. Get her into like the top 5% on OnlyFans by the time she's recovered from her surgery so that she can come back and really, really make everybody's day. I mean, I follow her on Twitch. I've actually watched the majority of her Twitch videos. I don't always log in to leave comments. And the one time that I, well, sorry, the second time, the second time I do, <laughs> the second time I do, <laughs> Uh, somebody was actually nice and gifted a sub to her channel for me, which, thank you. I kind of wish it would have waited until she came back, though, because she's going to be gone for a while. Uh, but I do love watching her Twitch stream. She's really great. She puts a lot of effort into everything that she does. 100%. She has a day job, and she does this. Like her day job consists of like maybe this much of her time. The rest of it, she basically does stuff to entertain people, to make a name for herself, to become mildly notable. And I want to help her with that in any way I can. Would I like the same thing? Yes, I would love to be, you know, mildly notable online. I think I kind of am. I mean, I have one Patreon. I, I have one patron so far on my own on my Patreon, but she has, she's like in the top, I think it's like 7.5% on OnlyFans. Let's get her into the top five. Let's nail her into that top 5%. Let's get everything going really well for her. Okay. Because I really want her to see that everybody cares about her. Not just me. I think she's great. If I had, in all honesty, if I had the space and I actually had a place of my own that is in my name, I would invite her to come live with me. Because I know she wants to get out of where she lives. And I would gladly invite her to come live with me. That's how much I care. She is that great of an individual. If you don't believe me, go rewatch her Twitch streams. Go check out her YouTube channel. She's literally on YouTube. It's like a bunch of her archive streams. Go check them out. They are a lot of fun. I, I wish she would put up the Hi-Fi uh, Hi Rush that she just played. Because she's she said she was bad at it, but she was actually not bad. She was really good. Go check out her channel. Go check out her stuff. Show her the love that she deserves. Okay? For me, please. And until next time, I'm Jessica Charms. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.